is taking its toll on one of the North Shore's most visited state parks. Take a look at this dramatic change. Here's what Gooseberry Falls looked like a month ago. Now this is what the falls look like today. Dry with no more than a trickle of water flowing. Wildfires are still burning up north. Yeah, they're burning. Uh, the Delta Lake fire covers 62 acres. This is in the Superior National Forest. And then the fires even further north, uh, they're threatening to spread into Minnesota. There are seven wildfires burning in Quetico Provincial Park in Canada, which is right across the border from the Boundary Waters. Uh, so that area right there in red, those are Boundary Waters campgrounds and trails. They're closed for at least the next seven days while the firefighters work to control the flames. It is hazy. Smoke from wildfires in Canada creating a thick haze across our state. On the first leg of my adventure, I biked 35 miles from my home up through St. Paul to Minneapolis. Good morning, friends. I am in downtown St. Paul on the beautiful Mississippi River. As you can hear, I'm not out in the woods. This is Midwest Backpacker. How come you aren't backpacking? Well, it's late July. The temperatures all week are going to be in the 90s. Today it's supposed to be 95 degrees with the humidity, a huge heat index of over 100 degrees. The Bonder Waters canoe area has fires. There are big Canadian fires. The Superior Hiking Trail is drier than it's been in 20 years. Most of the creeks are dried up. And frankly, it would just kind of suck to go camping up there and backpacking. With the smoke, there aren't any views. Water sources are hard to find. Hotter than you know what. So I'm back out. Last weekend, I went on a biking adventure with Rob. Today, it's more of an urban bike. I'm a small town guy. Biking through the city is just as much of, a, of an adventure sometimes as uh, going out in the woods. So riding on a bike, you stay a little bit cooler. You know, uh, you have that breeze going. So, yeah, I'm gonna go right around town. Should be a good adventure. Get some exercise. Come along. I don't know why, but there seems to be a lot of hot air right here. Only a couple weeks left to the great Minnesota get together. It's the Minnesota State Fair. One of the best state fairs in the country. If you'd like to eat lots of crappy food on a stick, this is your place to go. Sweet Martha's cookies. You know they make like six billion dollars selling cookies over 10 days at the state fair. Incredible. Suck it, Buckeyes. I'm in Minneapolis, but I'm on the wrong side of the river. I went to go where I thought I would cross, which is the Stone Arch Bridge, which is right down here. But that bridge is closed for an event today. You can probably see that bridge I'm not going across. 35W Bridge is down there, but uh, I don't know if you can go across it on a bike. Probably not. You Minneapolis people probably say, silly boy, just go this way, but I'm not sure. See a couple bridges up that way, so I'm gonna try going that way and hopefully I can get across. I wanna get to US Bank Stadium, which I can see is right there, but 
little river in the way. I'm at the First Avenue nightclub made famous by Prince and the Revolution, Soul Asylum, Bob Barley, R.E.M. You name it, they've been here. I am outside of the Target Center. That is the home of the Minnesota Timberwolves. Congratulations, the Milwaukee Bucks who just won the NBA championship. You give us hope that a Midwestern small market team can win the championship even though the Timberwolves have the worst record of any professional sports team ever. The second portion of my trip was an air-conditioned light rail ride from Minneapolis to the Mall of America. Target Field Station. The final leg of my journey was a 25 mile bike ride along the Minnesota River Valley and the Mississippi River back to my house. Oh, it's hot out. <sighs> Made it to a gas station. Gonna grab some Gatorade. Maybe a little snack. We made it. It was a hot and humid and hilly 60 miles. Whew. Only one month until I'm on the Colorado Trail. I can't wait to get back out on the trail. If you like this video, go ahead and hit subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Check me out on Instagram. Check me out on Facebook. Check out the Merchant Teespring. Only a month and I'll see you back out on the trail.